Hi, everybody. Welcome to our podcast for what's happening in the Chaska Middle School West Band Department for the week of February 6th. It's Eric Songer here with you, and uh, it's been a really, really fun past month and a lot of great activities coming up around the corner here. One of our busiest times of the year, our January and February. So uh, lots to get to in the podcast. We'll get it started by just letting you know that every grade level, every student has band lessons this week, and you can find the lesson calendar on our website if you just go to district112.org and then click on Chaska Middle School West and then go to the band page you can see the lesson calendar and we also are doing bonus lessons again and the bonus lessons are changing here in February a little bit uh, we still have the bass lessons and drum set lessons for those kids who want to learn those instruments we also have the the uh, students who have chosen their own lesson groups and are working in their own ensembles such as our eighth grade flute quartet and saxophone quintet and our seventh girl spice girls group and our sixth grade 10 girls group so we have those and then we're adding a new one uh, this month called four mallets for percussionists only who want to learn how to do four mallet technique at a higher level so we'll be offering those on Wednesdays and Thursdays Thursday. so you can check those out on the lesson calendar also some things coming up as far as assignments the sixth graders have a take-home assignment due on Friday February 10th where every sixth grade member is to play a song out of their festival solos book the maroon colored cover book and you can choose any song out of there and play that for a parent at home and then make a program that has your name, song title, the date, a picture of you performing, a short two to four sentence evaluation on how you did and a parent signature. And then you turn that in. There is no recording that's necessary for this assignment. Just go ahead and turn that in and you will get credit for that. Make sure you have it done by Friday, February 10th. And then for the 8th graders, you are currently working on your popular music production projects in your lessons on Fridays. We are down to four more band lessons left to complete those, so make sure you're attending. And if you can't make those, uh, you can always come before or after school, or you can come during office hours during block advisory. Now, unfortunately, this week, there is no block advisory due to our late start on Thursday. And then also, every grade level has a playing test that is due now in under a month. These are all due on the last day of the trimester, which is Thursday, March 2nd. And I'll go through the assignment for each grade level for the sixth graders. It is the first four scales on page 37 in the Accent and Achievement book, Concert B-flat, F, E-flat, and A-flat major scales. For all of those, you just need to play up to the first note after the repeat, and you do not need to repeat. Percussion, you'll play these on the bells. And percussion, you also have one other song in addition to those four scales. It's number 109 on your snare drum. For seventh grade, if you're a woodland or brass player, you need to play number 30 and number 51. And then the concert F harmonic minor scale, the second scale on page 37, all out of your accent and achievement book. And for the percussion, you also need to play that same concert F harmonic minor scale, the second one on page 37 on the bells. And then also number 30 and number 56 on the snare drum out of your accent and achievement book. And finally, for eighth grade, you need to play numbers 50, 67, and 91 out of your Accent and Achievement book. For the percussion, number 50 you will play on the bells, and then 67 and 91 on the snare drum. Uh, one other announcement before I get into the upcoming events, and that is registration is going on right now for next year. If you are a 6th or 7th grader, I would love to have you come back and be part of the band for 7th and or 8th grade. And the schedule works very much like it did as far as scheduling for this year when it comes to band. We will have an hour where you will take your music and phi ed classes. And for many of you, that means um, one of the days, A or B, you'll be in band, and then one of the days you'll be in personal wellness. Um, some of you also choose to do two music, so you'd be in band and choir or band and orchestra. So it works the same way. I uh, also let you know too there are two other music elective classes you can take in addition to band and that is worldwide of music or sorry wide world of music for 7th grade and that's a class where we teach you about music history ranging from classical to jazz to pop and there's also a big guitar unit in there where you learn how to play guitar and then also for 8th grade we have the music in the image course which I team teach with Mrs. Reed and that's a class where we give you a camera and give you a computer and uh, have you do a bunch of fun projects like making short movies, commercials, music videos and things like that. So very fun class to be a part of. So let me get into the things that are coming up here as far as before and after school this coming week we have country bluegrass practice after school on Monday. Sixth grade jazz band is after school on Tuesday. Our seventh and eighth grade jazz bands will meet after school on Thursday. And our garage band will be after school on Friday. And garage band, we're going till 5 o'clock this week. 
There will be no rhythm section practice before school on Thursday due to the late start, and we will not reschedule that for another day this week. And then our Morning Star performance is going on in the cafeteria. We will have DJs down there every day this week except Tuesday. So come down, have some breakfast, and enjoy some great music from our DJs in the morning from 7.10 until the beginning of the school day. Some other upcoming events after this week. It's actually miraculous. We don't have any concerts or performances or festivals going on this week. Um, but coming up uh, the second half of February and into early March, we have the great saxophonist Kenny Holman coming in on Tuesday, February 14th, a special Valentine's Day appearance from Kenny. And he'll be here third hour to give a lesson to all the saxophone players in all three grades uh, for the entire period of third hour. So there'll be no other lesson for you that week, uh, saxophone players, and we want you to come during that time, Tuesday, February 14th, third hour. Uh, very, very cool day on February 16th. It's, uh, this, is, this will be the week of the State Music Education Convention in downtown Minneapolis at the Convention Center. And we have a lot going on with that. First of all, our garage bands have been invited to perform at MMEA, uh, Minnesota Music Educators Association. And uh, that will be at 445 on Thursday, February 16th in room 205 at the Convention Center. Uh, if you are interested in going, you can get a free pass from me. Just let me know. And then for the students in the garage band, uh, we will be leaving actually very early in that day, beginning of the school day, because we're actually going to go down and play at the Mall of America first, along with the Country Bluegrass Band. And we'll be performing at MOA at 10 a.m. over on the northeast corner of the mall on the first level, right outside of Sears. And then after that performance, we'll grab some lunch and then head on down to downtown Minneapolis. And after a short little uh, roam through the exhibit halls, we will get ready for our performance at 445 in the uh, convention center for the convention. So very excited about that. One of the most, if not the most prestigious event that we've ever done with GarageBand. Then the very next day on Friday, uh, February 17th at that same conference, we have two members of our eighth grade band, Bobby Belairs and Lily Paul, who are playing in the All State Honor Jazz Band for a middle school level. And so we're very pumped about that. They'll be playing at 1030 in the morning on Friday, February 17th in that same room, uh, the Convention Center, room 205. So again, if you're interested in seeing that performance, let me know and I can get you some free passes for that. Uh, coming up uh, the week after that is our huge Evening with the Stars event. Uh, that will be on Thursday, February 23rd. Our 6th grade band will be playing at 5.30, 7th grade band at 6.30, 8th grade band at 7.30. And for all those band members, you should be at West at least 15 minutes prior to that performance. You'll be performing in the large gym. 6th and 7th graders will be wearing their music shirts and dark pants. 8th graders will dress up and look nice. And uh, also going on that same night, we have our jazz bands performing. Uh, I'm trying to do this off the top of my head. Sixth grade jazz band will be at 6 o'clock. The um, eighth grade jazz band will be at 7 o'clock. And the seventh grade jazz band will be at 7.30. And all those jazz band performances will be in the cafeteria. We also have some chamber groups playing. Our eighth grade flute ensemble, or sorry, flute quartet and saxophone quintet will be performing. Uh, we have talent show um, singers performing that night uh, at the main entrance. We also have some of our DJs performing. And then all the choirs and all the orchestras will also be performing. We'll have four stages set up in the school. And in addition to all the music, there'll be other disciplines showing off their work. There will be pizza being served in the cafeteria. There's a silent auction going on. So a lot of great, great stuff going on on the 23rd of February. Um, also coming up after that, we have guest artist Ian Allison, bass player, coming out to speak to our kids on Tuesday, February 28th during 6th uh, grade and 7th grade band, B-Day bands that day. And kids who don't have band that day who want to come see Ian, you can come on out and uh, just let me know if you want to come and we'll check with your teachers to see if we can get you there. And uh, Ian is a bass player here in the Twin Cities who has toured with people like Eric Hutchinson, Sarah Barillis, and many, many more. So he's got some great stories to share and uh, very motivational information to share about how to become a great musician and, and get to the point where he is, where he's making a, a really good living and having a really fun time making music and touring the country. We also have coming up on the uh, 25th of February, uh, the Regional Honor Band, which is in Mankato this year at Mankato West. And we have some students who were selected for that band. 
Uh, and then uh, finally, coming up here, we'll, we'll cap it off by talking about Saturday, March 4th. There's two honor bands going on that day, the Regional Honor Jazz Band in Lakeville. Uh, we have two students, uh, Bobby Belairs and Medora Riley, participating in that. And then we have 12 students going down for the Tri-State Honor Band in Decorah, Iowa, also on that same day. Um, some highlights that have been going on this past week was a, a whirlwind, some really, really fun things going on. We had our District 112 um, district Band Festival going on at both Chaska and Chanhassen High School. Uh, all of our 7th and 8th grade band members went over for a half day, got to play music with the other 7th and 8th graders from Pioneer Ridge and East. They got to do a performance under the direction of guest artist John Green, and they also got to meet their high school band director, Mr. Beckler and Mr. Swanson, and also got to hear the top bands at each high school play. So a wonderful experience for our 7th and 8th graders to get to know um, all the uh, things that go on there. And I didn't mention it as far as registration earlier, but for those kids in eighth grade going into ninth grade, um, band, uh, as far as how it works, is an everyday class. They don't do A and B day classes in the high school. And band is one credit. Every student in the high schools has to take one fine arts credit. So band is a way to satisfy that requirement. Um, I strongly encourage kids to play as freshmen uh, because you've come this far and you get that high school band experience is really, really cool. And there's a lot of great things they do. They get to play in the marching band early on in the year. Marching band goes till about the middle of October. Get to play at about four home football games. Um, you also get to do uh, some great concerts during the year, um, some wonderful music. And there's two bands that, that freshmen can be in. There's the freshman band, which is open to any freshman. And then there's also the top band, uh, either called the Symphonic Winds or Wind Symphony, depending on which school you go to. That's an audition group, and, and any eighth graders interested in auditioning for the top band at the high school, there will be information coming out on that right around spring break. And then the high school band directors will come over to West at some point near the end of April, beginning of May, to audition kids uh, for that top band. As far as scheduling, just, just register for the concert band for right now and uh, we can make a change if they make that top band later on. Uh, for kids who want to do both band and choir or band and orchestra, that is an option in the registration manual. You just, instead of signing up for band, you sign up for band slash choir or band slash orchestra. And what happens with that is it's still one period, but kids will kind of bounce from one class to another, um, which does mean that they miss, you know, basically 50% of each because, you know, the day they're in band, there is a choir rehearsal going on that they're not in. But usually kids who do both are, are, are able to handle that fairly easily. Um, and as far as being worried about getting other classes in that you need to take, um, there just keep in mind, junior and senior year, there's a lot more elective space where you can take those classes. So, so if you have any questions on registration for any of the grades, feel free to let me know, and I'd be glad to field those. Um, getting back to uh, events from the past week, uh, as I'm doing this recording, just yesterday we had an incredible district jazz festival at Chanhassen High School. Very, very fun day that featured all of our district jazz bands from um, sixth grade on up to high school. Uh, every middle school band got to have a clinic during the day with uh, Russ Peterson, who is uh, the jazz director at Concordia College and an incredible saxophone player, and then also Phil Holm, a uh, Twin Cities freelance trumpet player and educator who's just a phenomenal uh, person as well. So they got that experience. And then they also got to play in a performance in the evening where every band got to perform on the stage in front of a sold-out house. And uh, at the end of the concert, we had a, a very fun finale where all the students were invited up on stage to play the song one o'clock jump and anyone who wanted to come up and take a solo got to take a solo so really really cool experience for our kids at the uh, jazz festival this past saturday uh, i'll just end by saying if you want to follow us on twitter uh, lots of great stuff on twitter uh, my handle is at cmsw band and also if you want messages with uh, reminders of things that are coming up you can uh, send them for text blast just uh, send to the number 81010 one of the following three messages, depending on which band you're in or your child's band is in. Those messages are at 16-17 band 6, at 16-17 band 7, or at 16-17 band 8. And you can also email me at any time, song or e at district112.org. Hey, thanks for listening. We do these every week, give you updates on what's going on, and uh, obviously a lot going on right now. So um, more information coming up next week with recaps of what happened in the past week and also great information about all of our wonderful kids in the CMS West Band program. Have a great week.